The ribbon was cut on a brand new office for a state representative. It is the office of state representative Mike Cabell. I'm pleased now to be joined by state representative Mike Cabell who represents the 117th legislative district. Congratulations on this beautiful new office. I believe this is the first time there's been an office like that right here in the Cunningham Valley. That's right. Um, this district is, is a little unique in the fact that the population centers are Butler Township, Sugarloaf, Salem, um, forever the 116th district, which we were a part of previously with Tara Tuhill and, and Representative Schnee, were mainly based in Hazleton. So we're really excited being from the valley and, and being able to have my office a couple minutes from my house and uh, behind Gould Shore Save. It's really nice. It's in the Gould Plaza right off of Route 93. And But this is a second office for you because you opened up a first one in Dallas, correct? That's correct. So this district, uh, along with it being uh, a little unique in, in where it's located, it's also unique in the size. So uh, it, it trains all the way up to Dallas Borough, Harvey's Lake. So I have a second office that's fully staffed um, every single day up in Dallas Borough on the Twin Stacks. Now, since we talked the first time, you've been assigned to some committees. So tell us about the committees that you are on and what that means for the constituents in this area. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm incredibly excited. Um, I'm in, Mainly, the number one is appropriations. So we get to be the watchdog of the budget. We get to, uh, I sat through three weeks of budget hearings with each of the uh, governor's secretaries and really we're able to dig in and, and find out where our taxpayer dollars are being spent. So um, I'm incredibly honored to be a part of that. Um, as well as that is uh, the Transportation Committee, another one. I believe I'm the only freshman uh, Republican on the Transportation Committee. Um, and that is uh, an incredible honor too because as I was knocking doors and talking to constituents, probably the number one issue would be the roads. Um, so yeah, I have a little bit of influence on how we're uh, utilizing taxpayer dollars there and, and trying to fix our roads. And then finally, Human Services, which actually was number one on my list, um, is not really overly difficult to get on, but it's incredibly near and dear to my heart having a, a background in behavioral health care. Um, I'm able to uh, keep an eye on uh, about 40% of the budget, which is uh, the Human Services uh, encompasses about 40% of the state's budget. Now, has it been what you thought it would be, or is it different than you thought it would be? Different. <laughs> I haven't, to be completely honest with you, Lisa, I have, I have not really, I, before I was elected, I didn't think of what, what it would be the everyday life of a legislator walking into the rotunda and, and, and sitting on the House floor. That has been surreal. That's been unbelievably amazing. Uh, that is incredibly positive. Um, on the other side, uh, when I'm being told, this is normal to me, but apparently it's not normal the last couple months of, of how it's gone with, uh, you know, we had Speaker Rossi and then, and then a little bit of a shakeup and now uh, Speaker McClinton. Uh, we're in a good. We're on a good path now. We're, we're passing bills. We're legislating, um, but it's been it's been a little unique. Uh, the the time um, that that we we had where we weren't in Harrisburg actually was good for myself and my fellow freshmen. We were able to stay back in the district, open up our offices, get our get our staff really oriented and, and able to serve the serve the constituents. Now you have an open house going on here today, so that people can come in and see where you're located. I heard you say before we got started that you're already busy. Oh, so yeah. what type of of, uh, questions, I guess, come in the door. Yeah, so my staff, I um, owe everything to my staff. They do all the real hard work every single day. I just shake hands and kiss babies, and they're in here uh, providing constituent services. So uh, property tax rebates, any sort of anything that the state has to do. If there's any issues you have with the state, you could come in, and Mitch or Mike in this office will be able to assist you. And if they can't, they will kick it up to somebody in the department in Harrisburg that would. And then up in up in uh, the Twin Stacks in Dallas, we have Joan and Carol who could, every single day could help you with anything state related. Is this open all, all weekdays, every weekday, or what are the hours? Yeah, so it's every day, 9 to 4.30, every single day. Same with the office up in uh, Dallas. Um, and we're also, we, we work closely with our congressman, um, and we will soon have uh, a liaison for uh, Congressman Muser in our office once a month as well. So we're seeing a lot of cooperation. We saw Dane Watro and, and Dave Argel being together in that. That's good that all the service is kind of being connected so you can get a lot more accomplished that way. It's phenomenal. Uh, I consider Dane Watch, Representative Watro a really, really good friend of mine. Same with Senator Argel. Um, and I was just saying to Dane as I pulled him into our, our picture of our ribbon cutting, we're a team. Greater Hazleton, even though I said, you know, our office is here, we all, we all belong to the Greater Hazleton uh, community. So um, I, Dane and I work very closely together. Same with uh, with Senator Argyle and myself, um, and that's what you need. I mean, it's this it, you need cooperation between all of these different uh, chambers, branches of government, everything, so that. And the same thing 
with the municipalities um, and, and the county. We need to all work together to make sure that we get things done. And it's good that you have the ear of Congressman Muser as well so that you can then forward the concerns right. to that level. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Congressman Muser is fantastic. He's been great to me. Um, he's a great mentor to me. Uh, we've, we've participated in some roundtable discussions, and, and, and he's really, uh, we're, we're, we should be honored to have him as our congressman. Are you looking at any legislation right now that you'd like to propose, or what are some things that are at the top of your agenda right now? Yeah, so I have an interesting bill um, that's that will require all practitioners to have an MPI number um, if they're providing services. It's uh, it's going to cut down on hopefully on, on on fraud, and 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 that's really been my goal is to be fiscally conservative for uh, the Commonwealth. So that's the biggest one. It's going to be uh, interesting with our tight margin, um, whether or not we're going to get things through committee. Um, but I'm, I'm really doing everything I can to uh, make connections um, and reach out to the other side of the aisle and, and, and make sure that they understand what's important to me so that we can all work together.